We're now in lesson 5.8, and this lesson's all about applying special right triangles. So this is the 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle theorem. We're up to 17 previous videos for chapter 5 that are linked in the geometry playlist. A diagonal of a square divides it into two congruent isosceles right triangles. And since the base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent, the measure of each acute angle is 45 degrees. So another name for an isosceles right triangle is 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle. And a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle is one type of special right triangle. And the theorems that we're going to be covering in 5.8 can be used to find unknown side lengths without having to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we can use the Pythagorean Theorem to find a relationship among the side lengths of a 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle. And take a look at this diagram. We've got this diagonal here in the square, and that's the hypotenuse for this triangle and for this triangle, isn't it? Pythagorean Theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We can substitute in this x and this x into this theorem and get x squared plus x squared equals y squared. We can combine the like terms and simplify it. This is going to be 2x squared equals y squared. We can find the square root of both sides. So we have the square root of 2x squared equals the square root of y squared. We can simplify this. If you don't remember how, chapter 11, I keep saying that over and over again from Algebra 1. We did it last year. So this would be the square root of x squared times the square root of 2, which would simplify as x square root of 2, which equals y. Okay, so that would be that length. And that brings us to the 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle theorem. And it says in a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, both legs are congruent. So if we only have the measure of this one, well, we have them both because they're congruent. And the length of the hypotenuse is the length of one of the legs times square root of two. So C for the Pythagorean theorem, if this were C, the diagonal, the hypotenuse, we would do side A times square root of 2, or we could do side B times square root of 2 because they're congruent. And we can find side lengths in a 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree triangle as a value of x, and then give our answer in simplest radical form. So take a look at this. We know that's a 90 degree angle. And that's 45 degrees. And by the triangle sum theorem, the measure of the third angle is 45 degrees. Remember, triangle sum theorem says all the interior angles of a triangle should total 180 degrees. So this is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle with a leg length of 7. Well, the legs are congruent, right? So we know that one's 7. And according to the theorem, the length of the hypotenuse is the length of the legs times square root of 2, so x is equal to 7 times square root of 2. That's the hypotenuse. It's 7 times square root of 2. Now take a look at this triangle. This is an isosceles right triangle, which is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, and the length of the hypotenuse is 3. And to find, find the side length x, when we have the length of the hypotenuse, we can multiply one half the length of the hypotenuse by square root of 2. So if this is a 3, we're going to do the length of the leg x is equal to half times 3 times square root of 2, which would equal 1.5 times square root of 2. We can also divide the hypotenuse by the square root of 2 because multiplication and division are related, aren't they? So we know that this hypotenuse is a 3, and we know that the hypotenuse is equal to a leg times square root of 2. So we can divide both sides by square root of 2 on the side for the x. They, they would cancel each other out as a 1, wouldn't they? So we'd be left with the x, and we'd have 3 divided by square root of 2 equals x. We can rationalize the denominator, you know, multiply by a form of 1 to get rid of the square root denominator. And we get 3 times square root of 2 over 2, which simplifies 2 goes into 3 1.5 times. We end up with 1.5 times square root of 2 equals x, which is what we got up here. So this is my preferred way of doing it. It's much quicker. Just multiplying the hypotenuse by half, and then you go right to the answer. This way, you have to go through the rationalizing of the denominator, don't you? Okay, Emma wants to make a bandana for her dog by folding a square cloth into a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. And 
Her dog's neck has a circumference of about 32 centimeters, and the folded, folded bandana needs to be an extra 16 centimeters long so Emma can tie it around the dog's neck. So she's going to need an extra little 8 centimeters on this side and an extra 8 on this side to be able to tie them. So what should the side length of the square be? And we need to round it to the nearest centimeter. So we can either do this the multiplication way, this quick way, or we could do it the division way. All right. If we do it the quick multiplication way, we know that 32 plus 16 centimeters is 48 centimeters. So that's the side of the hypotenuse. That's the hypotenuse length she needs, which would be 48 is equal to L times square root of 2, right? We would do half times 48 times square root of 2 and get 24 square root of 2, which when we plug it into our calculator, it comes out to about 33.94. And to round it to the closest centimeter, it would be 34 centimeters. If we divide it, we divide both sides by the square root of 2. This cancels out as a 1. So we've got 48 divided by square root of 2 is equal to L. And we can multiply it by a form of 1 to get rid of the square root in the denominator. And we get 48 times square root of 2 over 2, which is 24 times square root of 2. See how much quicker that was? Which brings us to the same answer. Okay? So you can decide whether uh, you're going to do the multiplication or division. Your teacher may want to see you do it the division way just to make sure you know how to do it. That's why they would ask you to do it that way, okay? It's not because they're trying to punish you. They just want to make sure you know how to do it, all right? You could check it with multiplication. Our next lesson is 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle theorem. Then we're going to graph irrational numbers, and then we'll be in Chapter 6. So I'm really proud of you for watching this video, and I've said it before, I'm proud of anyone who's trying to help themselves, and hit that like button for me, and until next time, bye.